Budapest, Hungary's fifth largest city, is home to some 160,000 residents. Its 2,000-year history has been a checkered one. It was under Turkish rule in the 16th and 17th centuries before later becoming part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Despite the many outside influences, the people of Pécs place great store in local culinary traditions. The indoor market is a popular meeting place. It boasts both Hungarian and imported products, and fresh fruit and vegetables are in plentiful supply. Jeanette Chora, who runs the restaurant in the old part of the city, is a regular visitor to the market. She plans the menu together with her head chef Gabor Kovac, according to the produce on offer. We have our own suppliers, but you can always find very good fresh fruit, meat and vegetables at the market. There are also traditional Hungarian products like homemade honey. The sauerkraut here is also very good. Today, they decide to buy locally grown chestnuts. Peppers are a popular ingredient in Hungarian cuisine. They grow well here in summer thanks to the Mediterranean climate. Paprika powder is also very popular in Hungary. It's used in goulash soup and other dishes. But today we're going to serve goat with stuffed fresh peppers. You can use paprika powder, but we'll use fresh peppers. Jonat Chora's restaurant, The Corso, is located in the heart of the old city. It has a modern interior, but serves traditional dishes. Hungarian cuisine was world famous before World War II, but afterwards a lot of people forgot about it. Now we're reviving traditional recipes and using fresh ingredients, perhaps with a higher quality. Gabor Kovac is the restaurant's young head chef. First, I'll be making a cream of chestnut soup. The main course will be a shoulder of goat with stuffed peppers. For the soup, you need pepper, cloves, white wine, milk, and chestnuts. The ingredients for the main course are goat meat, herbs and spices, onions, chicken liver, an egg, stale bread rolls, and peppers. First, Gabor Kovac cooks the peeled chestnuts in half a liter of milk. At the same time, he heats up the cloves in white wine. For the filling, he soaks a bread roll in milk. The next step is to puree the chicken liver, and then add the bread roll, the onions, eggs and spices, and mix everything together to form a filling. The peppers are scooped out and halved, then filled with the mixture using an icing bag. Then everything goes into the oven for 15 minutes. He prepared the goat earlier. <laughs> I seasoned the meat yesterday with salt, pepper, thyme and rosemary. Then I tied it together and cooked it in duck fat for 12 hours at 80 degrees Celsius. For the soup, the chestnut mixture is pureed with the clove and white wine broth before serving. Dining out in Page, where traditional cuisine is served in modern surroundings.